Today, we're going live on the most powerful AI model that just released from DeepSeek. This model beats GPT-5 and Gemini 3.0 Pro on almost every single test. It won gold model models in coding contests. It crushes maths problems. And here's the crazy part. You can actually run it locally as well. I'm going to show you what this model can actually do. Um, we're going to run through exactly how it works, etc. You can see the white paper here. So this is a white paper from DeepSeek. They've literally just announced this a few hours ago. So you can see their announcement literally 11 hours ago from DeepSeek on X, as you can see. It was a pretty chill launch considering the benchmarks here. If we pull up these benchmarks, as you can see here, you can see that we've got DeepSeek V3.2 Special, DeepSeek V3.2 Thinking, GPT-5 High, Claude Force on it, and Gemini 3.0 Pro. Now, what's interesting about this, if you look at the benchmarks here, you can see that in almost every test, um, DeepSeek V3.2 Special is either winning or is right up there with Gemini 3.0 Pro. So we're going to be looking through the white paper and the tech report and just seeing how it performs as well. I'll be running through exactly how you can um, use it locally to so you can see here, they've said we introduced DeepSeek V3.2 on the white paper, a model that harmonizes high computational efficiency with superior recent agent performance. All right. And then you can see the benchmarks here. So this is how it performs um, versus its counterparts. So, for example, it's tested on Amy Mass, HMMT, HOE, Code Forces, SW, Verified, Terminal Bench 2.0 and tool decathlon right now the the special is a different model to the thinking model as you can see um and if we compare these side by side you can see that for example uh the special model scores 96 compared to gemini 3.0 pro which is probably the most impressive model lately which scores 95 on a maths test right so you see here that actually for maths tests um Deep Seek V3.2 is actually outperforming these, right? So if we have a look through the details inside this, you can see that they've said the release of reasoning models marked a pivotal moment in the evolution of LLMs, right? And since this milestone, the cap capabilities of LLMs have advanced recently. And whilst the open source community, so for example, like Minimax, which is Chinese, uh, Moonshot, which is also Chinese, and this one as well, which I've not come across, to be honest with you, continues to make strides the performance trajectory of closed source proprietary models, Anthropic and DeepMind and OpenAI has accelerated at a significantly steeper rate, right? Which is quite interesting. So basically they're saying like the LLMs that are local um, haven't quite evolved at the same speed at which the closed source models have. And so consequently, rather than converging the performance gap between closed and open source models appears to be widening with proprietary systems demonstrating increasingly superior capabilities in complex tasks. What that means basically is like they're just saying, okay, you know, the 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 local models and the open source models are, are kind of like not developing at the same speed at which the, the closed models are. And then it talks through like the architecture and how this works, et cetera. What we can actually do is I want to take this information and then we can just go over to something like Claude and just break this down into a simplified version. Cause I think for a lot of that content, it's going to go over most people's heads. So let's say, okay, break this down the third grade level, explain the key plus most notable findings from this white paper. And then we've taken the white paper and broken it down. Now, in the meantime, whilst Claude is doing that, let's have a look here. So you can actually get this on Hugging Face, as you can see. So this is the newest model from DeepSeek. And uh, it's designed for like reasoning and also agentic AI. So you can see how it's broken down here with, with the benchmarks again. And it actually breaks down how to run this with the chat template. And you can also run this locally. So you can see here how to run locally. And then basically with Hugging Face, you can use the repo on GitHub and start using this and running it locally, right? So if we open up GitHub, as you can see, we've got the details here. And this is for the experimental release. So 3.2 experimental that you can run locally. 
and you see how it performs. Um, it does outperform 3.1, and you can run it locally, and then we've got the open source details, and then you can run it locally with Hugging Face, right? Like that. If you actually go to If you actually go to deepseek.com, so you can go to deepseek here. You got a choice between um, you can use v3.2 here as well. All right. So and then you can select between deep think and non-deep think. Let me just double check here. So it does say on the website that it's v3.2. Let me just ask here. I don't think this will be using the latest model. Also, it's all in Chinese for some reason. My Chinese is not that good. But it won't actually tell you if it's V3.2 or not. Yeah, it so yeah, you can run it locally. You can also use Docker as well, as you can see. So you can run this locally with Docker too. Yeah, essentially that's how it works and then if you go to hugging face sometimes on hugging face you can actually use um the model on an inference provider but you actually can't with this model so if you want to use this model you've got a few options so you could use vllm kaggle google colab or transformers and then you just have to, to figure out how to run it from there essentially it now if you have a look on Olama, it's not uploaded on Olama yet, but if you want to get the old versions of DeepSeek, you can. You just run it locally with Olama here. And yeah, there you go. So let's talk about, okay, why is it important? So DeepSeek v3.2, simple breakdown. Let's have a look here. So obviously DeepSeek is a Chinese AI company and they just released DeepSeek v3.2. Think of it like a new smarter robot brain. Um, and essentially what they're trying to do is catch up to the big boys at a fraction of the cost. So DeepSeek v3.2 performs nearly as well as GPT-5 and Claude 4.5 Sonnet, which are both closed source models on most tasks. And their special version actually beats GPT-5 on maths and coding competitions. In terms of how it works. So there's been three key breakthroughs. Number one is smarter attention, DSA. So when AI reads long documents, it slows down and gets expensive because it has to look at everything at once, right? And so what they've done is create a lightning indexer that quickly scans and picks only the most important parts to focus on. So it basically like skims through, um, it's like kind of like skimming through a book for the good bits instead of reading every word, right? And so even at a much lower context window, so for example, you know, even at like a, even when it's reading long documents, it's dramatically lower um, in terms of using the token count. Also, it's got more training. So most AI companies do post training, which is fine tuning after the main training. It's a small afterthought. DeepSeek spent over ten percent of their entire pre-training budget on post training with reinforcement learning. Right? They also shared specific techniques they use to make RL training stable at scale. And also the final one is synthetic AI training. So they created a pipeline like this. And then you can see that they basically, um, they've, they've designed the special model to perform at agentic capabilities, right? And then you see here, their special model actually hit gold medal performance at the 2025 International Maths Olympiad and International Olympiad in Informatics. So. Why is this interesting for you? Well, number one, it's open source. So you can run it yourself or fine tune it and run it locally. Number two, agent capabilities. So they have a synthetic training pipeline, which is basically designed to use um, tool use and improve tool use. Number three, cost efficiency, because they're using that um, DSA, as we were talking about before, smarter attention method. That actually makes everything much more cost efficient. And then they've got the thinking right method which um calls multiple tool calls instead of starting fresh each time and also you know they've outperformed in some ways 
other tools like, for example, Claude, ChatGPT, and uh, Gemini 3.0 Pro. Honestly, for me, like, so Alex says, which do you think is better, DeepSeek V3.2 or Gemini 3.0 Pro? Honestly, like, if it's not that easy to use, like, if you've got to go over to Hugging Face and then mess around with code and everything else, I probably won't use it um, just because it's going to take up a lot of my time. And I've, I've, ain't nobody got time for that. But if it was inside the chat here, I'd be interested to test it out and see how it performs. Again, you can use DeepSeek V3.2. I just don't think it's a new model that you've got. Um, and then also, let's have a look on Open Router. I think you can get access to this as well. Let's have a look on Open Router here. So if we go to models, I'm going to type in DeepSeek. Uh, actually, yeah, so V3.2 is not available on Open Router, but you can just go over to deepseek.com and then you've got V3.2 over here. So, I, I mean, for me, I'll probably stick to Gemini 3.0 Pro, but we can use DeepSeek 3.2 inside the chat here as well. Um, but yeah, again, if, if I have to do all this crazy coding and stuff, like I know how messy that can get. And uh, just being 100% honest with you, probably wouldn't use it that much, to be honest. Let's see what people are saying on X about it. So sorry, it's trending on X. See what we got here. Let's get the DLO. So it's twenty five times cheaper than GPT-5 and 30 times cheaper than Gemini Pro. That's for the open reasoning model. I like the way they're so chill about announcing it as well. So if we have a look at the benchmarks here, you can compare them. Again, special is a lot more powerful than thinking. So you've got deep CV 3.2 thinking and special here so this is like maxed out reasoning capabilities and then look at this so amy 96 versus 95 for gemini 99 versus 97.5 for hmmt 94 versus 93 i mean according to deep seeks benchmarks which you always want to take with a bench you know a pinch of salt it is outperforming many of these different models. Let's see what else we got here. So, look. so Kim and Simmer says, yeah, first, I think some people just don't understand how massive this release is. They're the first, even ahead of OpenAI and Google, to release a gold IMO, CMO 2025 and IOI 2025, an ICPC World Finals model. Everyone now has access to such an outstanding model. And that's a good thing about it being open source, right? The claim that open source is eight months behind closed source seems to be refuted. Open source is catching up with closed source and is only slightly behind right now. And DeepCV 3.2 is an open source reasoning and agentic model that closes much of the gap to frontier systems like GPT-5 and Gemini 3.0 Pro. But yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get interesting. I can't wait to see uh, the new Deep Sea car too. That will be very interesting. I think once Deep Sea car two comes out, that's just gonna change everything. But I think that's pretty much it in terms of the update. So we'll keep it short and sweet today. We've covered DeepSeek. If you want to get all the video notes from today, 
you can get it inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Just go to the classroom here and then scroll down, go to SOP updates. And you see we've updated this so first of December, all the December 2025 trainings we've got here. We've got a full video on how it works, resources and tools, um, and explanations for how it works, etc. So you can just go to the classroom, SAP updates, and then it's right down here. So here's what's available for you right now, okay? So the AR Profit Boardroom, if you've not already checked this out, is an awesome community where you can learn this stuff. So, I mean, obviously you found out the theory of uh, DeepSeek and the new release, how it works, et cetera, what it means for the world, how it's open source, how it performs better than G Gemini Pro in some ways, and also how to access it and run it locally. If you want to learn how to implement this stuff inside your business, check out the AR Profit Boardroom. It comes with an amazing community of 1,800 members here who are learning and implementing AI into their business. You can see all the wins and all the people getting results with AI, as you can see down in this feed. Additionally, you get access to all of our best trainings, that shows you, for example, how to learn AI automation with our six-week roadmap. You also got our playbook here with all the systems that I personally use, email and content automations, NSN templates, the agency course, and also Q&A call recordings. Plus, you get four weekly calls. You can jump on these live calls, ask any questions you have, get help, get support, etc., and just problem solve together. Um, and the thing that I would say here is you get access to over 50 complete automation blueprints. And these are not just ideas. These are step-by-step -step guides with screenshots, prompts, and workflows that you can start using inside your business today. Um, you also get live coaching sessions every single week where we build automations together. You bring your specific business problem. We solve it live and everyone learns from it. Uh, you also get access to the private community where over 1,000 solopreneurs share what's working right now. If someone discovers a better prompt, they post it. Or if someone builds a better useful automation, they share the workflow. If someone finds a new tool, everyone knows about it within minutes. So that's inside the AI Profit Boardroom. And uh, we have a Cyber Monday deal on right now. So make sure you sign up now before you miss out because... With that Cyber Monday deal, that's closing today, of course, and then the price goes up. So feel free to check this out. Um, you can try it out as well. We have a refund guarantee, so you can like just check it out. If you don't like it, we'll high five you on the way out and say thanks for trying it. And you can get all this inside the link in the comments description. See you inside there. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye.